Hi everybody, Ron Flacone here. Look, this past Sunday night was a huge night for television. Some people were watching Miley Cyrus do her impression of a 14 year old that got really bad choreography moves. I personally still haven't watched it and I honestly don't care. Just for the record, the way I see it, the fact that The Replacements did their first show in over 20 years is way more newsworthy than anything that did or didn't happen at the VMAs. Anyway, if you weren't watching that, you were probably watching Breaking Bad. I mean, everyone was tuned in to one of those two things. I mean, if I was given a dime for every American that was reading a book on Sunday night, I probably wouldn't even have enough for a little Debbie cake. I personally was tuned into Breaking Bad. I'm a big fan and I'm kind of pulling for Jesse. I was a little bit thrown off by the ending at first. I wasn't quite sure, wasn't quite on board, wasn't quite sure where it was going, and I wasn't alone. You know who else was confused by the ending? Anderson Cooper. Anderson Cooper complained that he didn't quite get on board with the ending of Breaking Bad, he didn't quite understand it. And you can kind of just complain about something that you don't understand and call it journalism. We've had those standards ever since Fox News started in 1996. Now I know Anderson Cooper has confused other things before. Little things like the Gulf War and what percentage of Americans pay taxes. But this is Breaking Bad, and I don't get it. Look, Jesse was on his way to a new identity. He was going to have a clean slate, and then he realized that the guy that was really good at pickpocketing probably got that cigarette from him so that they were able to convince him that Gus had something to do with the little kid being poisoned. But he was on his way to a whole new blank slate, a whole new identity. Was it really that shocking and a knee-jerk reaction to think, oh, the guy that's proven to me he's willing to kill anybody in his path has tricked me? Well, I didn't understand it at first, though. The ending was still brilliant. The best things in television are the things that you don't get right away. At least that's the way I feel about it. Plus, if the show would have followed my hunch and Jesse would have gotten in that van, I mean, what would have happened? He just would have made prank phone calls to Heisenberg for the foreseeable future. Would have been a very boring remainder of the season. So buckle in, Breaking Bad fans. We've got a lot of exciting television ahead.